Every once in a while, it's my great pleasure to invite UK comedians to perform here in the Netherlands. And today, we have the stand-up chameleon from the UK, Anil Desai. Right here, buddy. We've been touring this week. Uh, these are first time, it's your first time in Rotterdam. We need to get you acclimated yeah. to the culture here. Yeah. We're gonna meet these people face to face. Yeah. And uh, if it works, yeah. we might we might bring it, that energy to the show tonight. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, all right. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Sit Ooh. up straight in your chairs, scream out to the heavens, and welcome to the stage, Mr. Anil Desai! Anil Desai, the stand-up chameleon, uh, the man of a thousand voices, uh, is what they call you. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, we, we met a few years ago at Edinburgh Festival. 2009. But um, what were you thinking when I gave you the call? I was like, wow, this guy's amazing. He kept his word, <laughs> right? I was wondering if you would like to come to the show tonight. Yeah. Uh, Cause uh, you know, I'm gonna be performing <laughs> as Nicolas Cage just for you. What do you say? Well, yeah. there's a slight possibility. Maybe we'll see you tonight. All right, this is for me, thanks. That's from Jim Carrey. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you travel to, you know, South Africa. Uh, yeah. you, you perform in the UK, but I mean, so much of what you do is taking your comedy around the world. How much do you have to, you know, change up your material? And specifically, mm. what did you heard about the, the Dutch? Uh, I don't really change too much of what I do in, yeah. my, in my content. Um, I do add uh, yeah. material into the show uh, for, for uh, to relate to the locals of wherever I am, yeah. depending on the country. Uh, it's my first time here in the Netherlands, as, uh, as Craig told you. Uh, and I noticed some strange things, like uh, you guys uh, have a you have a drink driving law for people in cars, but you don't have that for people on bicycles, right? And the most popular vehicle in Holland is a bicycle. I also talk about my how how various things have affected my life, and yeah. so my life is stories about my life and so wherever I go I'm still introducing me and I don't have to change that for yeah. the for the different countries you know yeah. what was funny yesterday we were doing a show in The Hague and there was a police patrol stopping the cars for the doing the checking of the uh, drink driving right and so all the cars are stopping and the cops are like yeah just want to and then the funniest thing was there was a guy on a bike driving by riding by with a bottle of wine like, da -da -da, like I was going look at that guy no one's stopping that guy it's fucking hilarious man yeah, so you're driving? No, I'm driving, but I'm not drinking. What about that fucking guy in the bike? Jason Statham. Uh, yeah. Yes. Action movie, Jason Statham. All right, he doesn't say much at all. He just does a bit of that, doesn't he? Yeah. And just, whoosh, whoosh, that's, that, he yeah. doesn't, yeah. He, he doesn't, he hardly speaks. Yeah. Do you want to come and see the show where I do other characters? Yeah. <laughs> it's on tonight. What have you heard uh, uh, well, as a UK comedian about the Dutch audiences about the, the Dutch in general. Yeah, I heard um, from various comics uh, that uh, the Dutch are pr pretty much samey. They're, they're all the same. Samey? Yeah, they're all the same. They dress the same. They look the same. They, they talk the same. They... So I was just wondering if there was anything uh, yeah, that we have in common as Indians and Dutch folks. I was thinking about it for a while. You guys, um, you guys drink coffee and we drink tea. So we both like hot drinks. <laughs> they're quite conservative. They're quite reserved. Uh, they're, uh, they, 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 they don't have the uh, capacity uh, to laugh at themselves too much. Um, they like laughing at Germans. Um, <laughs> That's true. And, uh, you know, then all the various stereotypes. One thing I thought was maybe different is that you guys wear wooden shoes. And we just don't see the point. <laughs> you know, I, I've discovered them to be, they were, very, look, they, they were totally opposite when I got here. Yeah. From what I was told. I think part of it is that the comics that are telling you what, what a certain culture is like, they're trying to screw you up as well, you know? Like, yeah, so the Dutch would be like this, and you go, okay, so uh, I'll mention that. And then when you do, everyone's like offended, and you go, hey, man, you just made that up, didn't you? He goes, yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know. <laughs> just having you on. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, uh, we like to play hide and seek. I don't know if you've ever seen a Bollywood film, but we play a lot of hide and seek. Like, 
<laughs> right, and you guys are too fucking tall to play hide and seek. <laughs> Want to see a comedy show? Oh yeah! Tonight, if the first gig we did, mm. what were your expectations? Were you nervous? I was nervous. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm always nervous uh, when I play the first show in any new town or country. Yeah. Because um, that was your first time ever. Yeah, in, in, the, the, Netherlands. in the Netherlands, absolutely. And um, but I was com I'm confident with with myself. And but when you were on stage first, because you, you you bring me on, I was backstage doing this. <laughs> Actually, the, the Dutch were the ones out of everywhere I've been in the world. They were yeah. the ones that I was, I was, uh, was the biggest challenge for me to think, oh my God, these are the ones that actually don't laugh. I've been told they don't laugh. How am I going to make these people laugh? They're known for not laughing. Yeah. And I thought, that's tough. Dutch yeah. audiences, when they have a strong opinion, yeah. which might be very negative, yeah. they will not hesitate yeah, sure. to share that with yeah. you. Yeah. So <laughs> Dave, I've had positive feedback, and I think I'll be the one British comic that goes back and says, the Dutch, oh man, that was easy. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know? Everybody will be like, yeah. what? <laughs> Try what? the Russians. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Like Family Guy. Do you want to see if yeah, you're a Family Guy? Yeah, it's like the time when I was in Star Wars. Ew, I'm Stewie. Oh, uh, no, I'm Stewie. <laughs> oh, hey, how about a flyer? Jim Carrey. Well, I'm not really ready for a relationship, Lois. But thank you for asking. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Your number is still 911? <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> when we met in 2009, mm -hmm. that was when you were doing your first ever solo show. That's right. At yep. Edinburgh. Yeah. And that was based on the, the, Im you know, the impressions. Yeah. But, but how did you get started? Like, how did you find out, oh, I'm, I'm good at impressions? <laughs> Uh, when I was a kid, <clears throat> my parents had a restaurant, and I worked in the restaurant. So when I'd go out uh, to or take orders and stuff from the customers, uh, and if there was a, a character, you know, in the in the, the customers, I'd go in the kitchen and I'd be like, "Mom, mom, there's that old man," and he was like, "Yeah, I like to get some, you know," and I'd I'd make fun of the customers <laughs> oh, in the so kitchen, true. and everyone in the kitchen would laugh, and they're like, "This kid's very funny." <laughs> And so that's where it all started, all that observation of human behavior and, and, and the mimicry yeah. thing. And then just from watching a lot of, hell of a lot of cartoons and, and uh, American movies and stuff yeah. and TV shows, and I just, I just pick, picked it up along the way. Very groovy, baby. You know, you're heading for a smack bottom, yeah. Oh, uh, hello. I love Austin Powers, but he's a bit over the top, isn't he, as a character? He's a bit too much. Like, you wouldn't want to live with Austin Powers, would you? Like, you'd be like, Austin, what would you like for breakfast? Waffles, baby, yeah! <laughs> Ooh, wounded. He does an imitation of me. It happened, yeah. Well, okay, all right, so, well, you know, like, okay, all right, so, uh, now. Yeah, all right, so, uh, uh, so, okay, we'll, we'll meet tomorrow, right? No, what did you say? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. <sighs> you want answers? Do you want answers? I've got this bouncing reclining thing I do when I talk. Look at my eyebrows, they look like they're about to take off. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Anil Desai, uh, it's been it's been a successful uh, first time in the Netherlands for you. It has? Yeah. All right. We're about to wrap up this I've got tour. nothing to compare it to. Yeah, exactly. Well, you, know well, will. Other, well, you know the other comedians that have been here. And, I, and yeah. for me, it's like, I can only compare it to being in other countries, but that's a bit unfair because they're all different. <laughs> but for my first time here, oh, yeah, it's been splendid. I think it won't be the last time. No. Yeah. Can you handle this? Yeah, I can handle it. <laughs>